Hello, I'm Black Bright and I am broadcasting out the UK. So good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on which part of the world you're watching this video from. Um, well, today um, I heard, well, somebody said to me, what what is good moral character? Because a lot of people, they've been rejected, their applications have been rejected because they failed good moral character. And it's a difficult one because on the one hand, you can consider yourself to be law abiding. You work, you've been paying your taxes, um, you haven't committed a crime, you haven't you haven't got those speeding tickets, um, you haven't got any huge amount of debts, unreasonable debts, you've been, you know, you've been married, you, you're law abiding and, you know, you've got your two kids, your 2.5 kids or whatever it is, and all that kind of stuff. You've gone to school, you've, you've got a good qualification, and yet you can still fail when you're going for your inter indefinite leave to remain on moral character. So why do people fail on moral character? You know why? Because you're doomed from the very beginning. Because one of the um, one of the main ingredients of a good moral character is honesty. And what they what they actually get at is when they say to you, "Okay, are you of good moral character?" and you say yes. And they say to you, "So when did you come into the country?" and you say, "I came to the country in 19." Uh, 89 and then they say well um, and how did you come into the country and you say well I came here on a visitor's visa and then I met somebody and I didn't end up going back we got married blah 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 and then they'll say to you but when you came on a visitor's visa that was just for a certain period of time so you overstayed and they'll like they'll start faffing around and say oh yes I did overstay but the but's not important here What's happened here is that you've already shown that you are not trustworthy, that you, you aren't, they've given you a leave to enter and they've given you a time frame to leave and you ha and you've more or less disrespected what they've given you. And so already um, you violated one of their terms of their agreements. So that puts you out of favour with regard to good character from the offset. So... If you haven't come in legally, it's different if you um, you were doing this 14 or 28 days and then something happened and you had a funeral or something happened during that time. And, you know, there might have been two or three months. But when it comes to years and years and you've overstayed or you're undocumented, it doesn't go down too well. So the first one is that. And the second one is answer all questions honestly and correctly. Now, we all know that when we complete forms, especially when you know it's going through scrutiny, we tend to write down what we think they want us to say or what they what we think makes us look good instead of writing down the truth. And that can come to bite you on the bum down the line. So make sure that whatever you write down on all your applications, you've written down the truth because they have ways of finding out. War crimes, terrorism, not conducive to public good. Those are the kind of things that will not denote a good moral character. If you've been involved, those kind of things. Financial affairs, failed to pay taxes, failed to pay fines, income tax, council tax, tax evasion. All of those things, they denote a bad character. So, you know, if, you've, if you're guilty in that area, that's another thing that will let you down. Notorious activities, parenting, can you imagine that? Wrong parenting. And if your child has criminal convictions or an antisocial behaviour order, you are going to be penalised for that. And that will come under your um, lack of good moral character. The fact that your child has failed you. So beware of that. If they are start asking you about your kid and has your kid done... Um, done any time, was in prison or has been, you know, arrested, any kind, anything like that, you know, it's going to go against you. Um, deceptive or dishonest, deceived authorities, e.g. overstayed. And they'll look back 10 years into the immigration period. So I've already mentioned that one. 
Um, has there been a breach of the immigration rules? Once again, it's more or less the same thing. You know, you overstayed, so of course you breached the immigration rules. So that's not going to look good. Assisted in the evasion of immigration control, sham marriage supported or housed somebody who has evaded immigration control so yeah that's like have you been putting up somebody who's an overstayer who's undocumented that can go against you if they find out so if they catch someone can you imagine you are on your indefinite leave to remain they happen to catch through no fault of your own they happen to catch somebody who was staying at your house and they say oh where do you live where have you been living oh i've been living at john brown's house down the road and they go and check it out you're in trouble if you're not a citizen if you're an, even though you did it to help that person that's going to go against you so that's another thing to look out for um what else if you know someone who's here illegally and have not reported them to the home office <laughs> that can lead you to denied um denied an application the fact that you know i don't know how they'll find that out but i mean if you know somebody who's undocumented or who's overstayed and you haven't told the home office as if you're gonna do that i mean it's just like you know when people witness a crime and i remember i did that once i saw this woman and she came out of this house and she was screaming help 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 my man is beating me up and i thought oh my god let me call the police you know she looks so bloody um, bedraggled and scared and frightened I called the police and the police then wanted to come and interview me and have me as a witness. I'm like, I ain't got time for that. I don't bloody know her. I've never seen her. I don't know what happened. All based on what she told me. I haven't got a clue. I'm not a witness. But what happens is, is that when you're helping people, you know, or trying to help people, you get dragged into it and it's, you know, and they make your life so difficult. It's not even easy. I think I'm gonna to have to get a new laptop because this one keeps freezing um, and I don't like those new laptops because they're all full of fandangles but anyway um, if you've been denied citizen at any citizenship at any time that's going to go against you um, so this is not an exhaustive list um, but get a legal consultation as I always say don't listen to me in that sense always back it up with proper expert advice and that's all for now. Hope you found this helpful. Bye-bye.